Okay guys, so I have already sectioned my hair into the four sections that I'll be using to um, wash my hair and detangle and all that good stuff. So I ran some errands today with my beautiful hat that I throw on when it's hair washing day. Do I dare? Do So this is me right after being shampooed and I am going to apply some conditioner and then I'm going to work through with um, my detangling comb. I'm going to spray my hair with a little water because that tail really drowned it out more than I was desired. Again, this is water with a little of um, essential oil. And I'm just going to use this Ion Keratin, two-minute keratin treatment. I also use the Apogee, um, but when I renewed my Sally's Club card, I got a free gift, so I figured I would try this out. It was really good. So it's going to work this into the hair. And on the ends. is going through and detangling with a little bit of this Hello Hydration um, conditioner and I've mixed in some of my oil in with this so this is what I'm going to use to deep condition today and it's not going to be a long deep conditioner maybe about 20 minutes if that so we're just going to put a little bit of that I have to shake it up to mix the oil back in work that and through here Concentrating on the ends. I'm going to take my wet look comb that I showed you guys in my favorites video. And we're just going to start at the end. And bring it all the way to the root. And um, one thing that I did not mention is that I also detangle, um, comb through my hair with this comb right after I take my braids down because like I told you guys in a previous video where my hair braided up throw a wig on it um, or a half wig or I'll wear my hair in a bun but usually I do keep it in a braid but I always go through before I wash my hair with a wide tooth comb and instead of me using my regular one I've been using this one and it works fine on dry hair as well okay so we have detangled and now I'm going to take it and put it in a braid I'm working it through the back. So we're going to sit under the dryer about 15 minutes and I'll be back to blow dry. Okay, so I've already rinsed my hair. I'm going to just apply a little bit, like a pea sized amount of carrot oil to my entire head. that much. I'm going to work that through my hair. My Tresemme heat tamer spray. I'm going to spray that throughout my entire head and work it in. Make sure I work it in. And I have my Brazilian Smooth 7 day smoothing spray. I'm going to spray that over my entire head and let that just kind of work be working. I'm going to do this section by section so I can make sure that it coats my hair. Okay, so I'm going to section my hair into, um, back into four or five sections. Hold those down with duck clips. And then begin flat ironing. 
I have here a flat iron. It does go up to 450 degrees. I will put the name of it below. In fact, I'll put all products that I used on my hair today below. So that way I don't have to use the video footage for that. So it's heated all the way up. Quick 30 second heat. So it's already good and hot. And then I'll be using with that my comb that I showed you guys in my favorites video to help straighten my hair out. So let's get started. And for the back of my hair, I don't hold the comb down. I hold it up. It really doesn't matter which way you hold it. Totally your preference. And I will do a clip of this in the front so you can really get a better look. I'm going to go ahead and pull that down a little bit. All the way through. And with the comb, I like it because it gives me the rat tail comb. It's, it's not melting like my my rat tail combs would because this one is heat resistant. Here is my hair bone straight. And this is with using the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray is on my hair. Also the Brazilian Smooth 7 Day Smoothing Treatment. So what I'm going to do is put a couple of curls in it and um, clamp those curls, let them sit in my hair, and then um, I will show you guys the finished look. Mm -hmm. 